you know, that sick need that we have to be needed. You know, I can remember when he asked me to marry him, he said, I need you. And it sounded better than I love you because they keep you longer. So you want to keep that need created so they'll keep you. It gives you job security, you know. Haven't you ever had a job where you did something on your job and you don't want anybody else to know how to do that procedure? Because if they did, then they might could fire your ass. So therefore, as long as you know and they don't know, you got it. Well, see, that's how I've been doing with all the house and all this stuff. I had my position there and I didn't want to change, but that's not the way it is today. And it's a good thing because as much as I'm gone, he has to take care of all of these things. And my God, the freedom it gave me to realize that we could share responsibilities instead of it being my job, his job. I don't know about y'all, but garbage was a big deal at our house. We had major problems with garbage. The problem was he didn't take it out when I wanted it took out. And, and my sponsor said, are you going to allow him to do that? Is that a job that he wants to do? And I said, yeah, we sit down. And I told him I do all the cooking and everything. Would he mind to take out the garbage? He said, no. She says, well, then let him. And I said, but he doesn't take it out the right time. She said, that's not your job. She said, you have choices. Now, you either take the garbage out yourself and shut up. She's big on shut up. Because I was big on bitching, see? <laughs> J.D. says I'd bitch if I was hung with a new rope. And she said, your second choice is you can allow him to take it out whenever he chooses to, but don't bitch. I said, I don't get to bitch on either one of those. And she said, that's right, because she said that's a character defect in you. And she said, we're going to work on that. And so I found out that I could just leave the garbage there, and if it got to driving me crazy... I got up, I took it out, and I kept my mouth shut. And I found that when I was doing it like that, it didn't bother me, and it didn't bother him, and we didn't fight over the garbage anymore. He squeezed the toothpaste in the middle of the tube. I hated that. My sponsor gave me such logical suggestions like, get two tubes of toothpaste. It never occurred to me in nine years of marriage to get two tubes of toothpaste. But I'm very logical. It's real funny how we can miss on these little bitty things. And when I realized it wasn't the big, big things that drove me crazy, it was these little bitty things. You know, like, for instance, he would come in from work, and he would start undressing at the front door, and there would be clothes strung from one end of my house to the other. And I had two dogs, and they'd carry the clothes around. So the old maid here would come behind and pick up all the crap, bitching and griping. And I said, J.D., there's a clothes hamper right here next to the door in the bathroom. Why can't you put the clothes? And I don't know. It's just not convenient. And I thought, maybe we need one here, 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 and here across the house. And my sponsor said, uh, does that bother you? And I said, drives me crazy. She said, then leave it alone. She said, things that drive you crazy, leave them alone. And I said, well, what do you mean? And she said, well, you have a choice. You can pick up the clothes and not bitch. Or you can let them lay and not bitch. And I said, well, what will happen if we let them lay? She said, I don't know. Let's see. I said, okay. So we're letting them lay. We're letting the little dudes lay. And I mean, we got a week's worth all over the house. And he went to his meeting. And he brought some guys home with him. And he came in, and it's like he saw him for the first time. He goes, guys, as you can tell, my wife's no housekeeper. And I looked at it, and I said, yes, and y'all can tell those are my ducky shorts. I've never had to pick up clothes again either. So it's amazing to see what will happen. It's amazing. 